Hello Pisces and welcome back to my channel. I hope you guys are having a great day today. So let's see what's going on around you in love, what spirit wants you to know. Just take what resonates, leave the rest behind. Okay, there's somebody here. Oh man, yeah, they were very immature in the past. This is somebody who used to fight with you a lot. You know, I get the feeling like um, this person, anytime that something good happens to somebody, they try to wreck it. They like to cause a lot of chaos, a lot of drama for people. They like to stir up a lot of chaos. and dra This is somebody who always liked to have chaos and drama. They could have been all up in their ego as well. Very bossy, controlling. I'm kind of getting narcissistic energy. You know, why do I get the sense that this person was so immature they like fed off of, look at how they're looking at other people fighting, like they're really super satisfied by that. They fed off of that kind of energy, okay? And I feel like you're just nothing like that collective, okay? You, this person is in a very dark, um... What's the word I'm looking for? They're like an instigator of drama, okay? Um, this person is just a very dark individual. And you're in this positive energy. So this, this person's negative, you're positive. You guys don't even, I, I, you don't vibe very well together, okay? Um, their arrogance, their ego, it could be something that, that makes you feel a disgust. You know, it makes you, like, it really turns you off about this person. Um, the fact that they're constantly starting arguments and fights, I feel like that's how they were with you, too, in this relationship. And you're just like, you're done. You're done. Uh, you know, there's just been too much that's happened, I feel. Yeah, you, you are moving on towards a new beginning and this person wants to apologize. I feel like in the past too, they would they would do this kind of stuff. Um, they're antagonizing. That's what I wanna say. Thank you, spirit. <laughs> um, yeah, they're, they antagonize people um, and they just cause so many arguments and so much strife. And um, they apologize for it, but then they go back to doing it all over again. You know, this person is very impulsive as well. You know, um, I feel like they like to do a lot of talking about people behind their back. You know, and there, this could be a lot of people coming at them to fight because now everything's being exposed about this person. Um, so anything that they've said about people behind their back to try to start some kind of chaos and drama, uh, be an antagonist, uh, people are now maybe turning on this person. You know, here's the thing. We've reached a time, um, a, a time frame here. This is a, it's a time in the world where nobody wants to put up with people's crap anymore. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? I feel like um, narcissists and, and, and people who do things like this and behave like this, they're all being called out, called out by the universe. Um, the universe, spirit, will, yes, and that's a confirmation. Thank you, my phone just went off. Um, the universe is using others around this person um, to expose them, okay? You know, that kind of behavior, it just isn't working anymore for people, you know? And I think that's a grand scale of people. This could even be the father of your children, okay? Because all of a sudden, the children come out, and we've got a father figure here with this um, egotistical emperor energy, okay? This could be somebody who wanted to, they're very controlling I feel like they wanted to control the outcome of everything, or they wanted to control maybe how people saw you, okay? Or um, they may have even been using the children to control you, the things that you did. I feel like people are starting to see here, though, that you were innocent in this. The Six of Cups is an innocence card to me. Yeah, this person's getting their karma. The universe is, is exposing this person 
for the kind of person that they are. Like people can clearly see it that they just want to stir up drama, that they they run around and 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 spread rumors and lies. You know, they start fights. I mean, anytime anyone is around this person, there's sure to be chaos and drama, some kind of argument, some kind of fight. And this person, they usually laugh about it because they feed off that kind of negative energy. This could very well be an energy vampire. All right. Creating a problem everywhere they go. Um, only to suck that energy, right? Yeah. I feel like they've said a lot of stuff about you behind your back as well. Yeah, look, I just feel like spirit is, spirit is using other people to expose this person um, and try to, like, vanquish this kind of negative energy, okay? Nobody's putting up with them anymore. I feel like they're just sick of it. They're tired. This person makes people feel tired afterwards as well. King of Pentacles in reverse. There, uh, You know, there is something unstable about them also. They could have some kind of um, anger management issue or an issue with their temper if they don't get their way, Okay. Um, they're, they're not grounded. They're not stable. They could have, be having major money problems right now. They have a hard time possibly keeping a job. If this person had some kind of business, cause they could have been a business owner, that's going down the tubes. Nobody wants to deal with them. Um, this person could be a Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, heavy on Virgo, maybe a Libra, Scorpio. Sagittarius, this person could possibly be, well, they at least act younger than you. All they do is like, I feel like they've betrayed you a lot in the past, um, turned people against you, possibly people that you really loved, um, like close friends and family members, they could have turned against you. I'm just feeling like this person had, had no idea what they had when they had it, okay? Yeah, if only they knew now, or, or if only they, they knew then what they know now, right? That's kind of the feeling that I'm getting here. Because they are losing a star and their um, wish fulfillment. I feel like you were the blessing that could have led to lifelong blessings for this person. And you're leaving them behind because you just can't deal with it anymore. It's just this person creates chaos everywhere they go. They, this is one of those people who they're not satisfied unless they're fighting with someone. Or they're not satisfied unless they're seeing other people fight. Um, if you have any kind of win, this person will try to screw it up for you. Or they'll try to make you feel bad about it. Or they'll try to, I mean, they have to bring some kind of negativity to things. You know, talking about people behind their back and acting a fool as well. Saying nasty, harsh things to you. Maybe to, I, I feel like this person has projected all of their stuff onto you. Made you feel... Um, very stuck in your head about things, said nasty, harsh, cold things to you in the past, you know, manipulated you. I mean, this is a, this is a narcissist energy vampire. Like this isn't, this is not a good person. And I feel like they want to come back in. Yeah. And they don't want to let you go. They don't want you to upgrade. They don't want you to, um, excel. This is somebody who would really want to hold you down to their level, okay? And you have this person blocked, you know? I feel like when you first met this person, Collective, um, you were very happy. Like, uh, I, they come across as being very confident, right? Um, wanting to take charge, okay? I feel like um, this could be, you know, like a very manly man. You know what I mean? 
I feel like you were very happy when you first met them. But as the relationship went on, and you could have been with them for maybe anywhere from like two to two to eight years, maybe. I feel like it's more like a couple of years. Um, they just, you know, now you have to actually try to heal from this connection. It was once a happy connection, but boy, this it was a major disappointment. Because this person, you realized very quickly that they, they really just love drama. And they love it when people are suffering somehow. I feel like you may even have some PTSD from this person. Because they really did, um, they really did, did project everything onto you. So, I, I mean, I'm getting a lot of, having to do a lot of healing from this connection. Okay. Because it was really bad. You could have felt very trapped. Because they are very controlling. Okay? Um, and they do. They will start these fights and get... They're an instigator, right? Um, they'll start these fights and they'll get up, up all in your head. You know, you could, it could have been very difficult to have any kind of conversation with this person. I mean, even having a conversation with them, I feel like you got to the point, what it feels like to me is you got to the point where you were walking around eggshells, like on eggshells around this person. You know, nervous, not knowing when they were going to project something onto you, make you feel bad, say something nasty, blame you for something, or start a fight with you. And if you had anything good happen in your life, you were probably afraid to talk about it. I, I don't I don't know. That's what I'm getting. I don't like this person's energy. And I feel like you're doing all that you can to heal from it. You know? It's PTSD. It's going to be hard to heal from something like that. Even sitting here, I feel like shaking. You could be shaking or this could make you shake. Like you could have, you could have panic attacks now where you like shake a lot or your one hand will shake like this. Okay, but you're rebuilding, you're rebuilding. Look, I feel like, too, this person left you feeling very depleted, number one. They have this very depleting kind of energy that they, because they're feeding off of you, you know, and I feel like it, it just, it, they brought you down to such a point in your life where you were really, truly struggling, not just with your finances and your living situation, but in your own mind. And you had to rebuild everything here. And look, now you're, now you're reaching a point where you're transformed, okay? But it's taken you a lot to heal from this. Like... It's taken you a lot to heal from this person. Ugh. I don't like their energy. So why am I hearing about... I feel like now they're wanting to come back in. Look. Now they're wanting to come back in. All right. So what else can you show me? This person could have put you out in the cold. You could have ended up homeless with kids. Um... And they did nothing, that, I feel like they did nothing to help you. They liked watching you struggle, okay? Yeah, see, you know this person wants to talk. You know they want to get back together. And you're scared. You don't want to talk to them. I'm feeling heavy PTSD off of, this, uh, off of whoever this is for. This is not going to be for all of you, okay? It's not. It may be very, very specific. So, and that's okay. The messages get to who they need to get to, you know? That's what we all do out here. So, yeah, you know this person wants to come back in, or you know that they want money. They could want money from you, okay? But see, when you were in a financial struggle... They didn't want to help you. They fed off of your suffering. They did. I, it's making me feel like shaking. I don't know if you guys can see it on me or hear it in my voice. 
But yeah, I feel like they, they either want money or they want to get back together because you're very abundant now. But the thought of them talking to you scares you. It reminds you of the hurtful things that they've said to you in the past. And so many nasty things getting you all stuck in your head. You know, they're, you're thinking to yourself, they're going to come back around and, and put me in a, another anxiety attack all over again. That's kind of what you're thinking. I feel like you're kind of afraid to talk to this person again. You could be a Virgo. You could be a Sagittarius. You could be a Libra, Gemini, Aquarius. Um, heavy Aquarius energy. It doesn't matter what sign you are. You're a total sweetheart who has dealt with way too much. And, um, and now you're in a very strong point in your life, okay? You're stable here now, you know? You're not living in fear of this person anymore. I feel like you, you kind of were afraid to talk to them before because every time you did, they would try to hurt you with their words or hurt you somehow. Yeah, you don't want to talk to this person again, okay? And you don't know either if they're coming in because they say they love you or they're coming in for your money, right? Um, yeah, but I feel like this person's right. They're about ready to take action. I feel like they're going to be on their way. Um, this could be a heavy drinker as well. Yeah, they're ready to take action, collective eight of wands. And here's the thing, though. They're still very smug. They're still up all up in their ego. Um, this person could have had third parties. They may want to start a new third party situation with you. They've, they've been able to um, get in your head before. They may be thinking that they can do it again. Spirit is saying, move on. Walk away from this person. Walk away from this person and choose yourself. Look, Spirit is telling you this. Walk away from this person and choose yourself. Walk or run, right? <laughs> Maybe that's what it is. Don't walk, right? Because this is a walk away card and this is the fastest moving card in the deck here with the chariot. So don't walk, run from this person, okay? That's what you're being guided to do because now, now you're stable. Before you weren't stable, this person had you in anxiety, okay? They had you in anxiety. Now you're grounded. Um, you're stronger, okay? You're um, in, a, in a peaceful place right now. So um, spirit wants you to choose yourself, choose yourself collective and don't walk, run from this person. You could be a cancer, you could be a Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, you could be dealing with a very manipulative Virgo, Gemini, I've got Gemini out here as well, Taurus, Aries, Sagittarius, possibly an Aquarius. Yeah, don't walk. Run from this person. Choose yourself. Spirit's trying to lead you forward. I feel like they don't even want you to have any kind of talk with this person. Okay? They're an, they're an energy vampire. Let's see. What does Spirit want you to know? This is a warning, okay? Because I feel like, here's the thing. Honest. Honestly, you've got to be one of the strongest people that I've read for, okay, Who, for whoever this is for. You're one of the strongest people I've read for, and I want to say that right off the bat because I feel like what this, what this person put you through, it may have made you feel fragile, but the fact that you um, healed from this and got away from this person, and you picked yourself back up and became stable, grounded, and successful, you're the strongest person. Look, and that's this. That's this chariot. 
being dragged through a battle and coming out having a victory, okay? Yes, this is champion energy. This is emperor energy. It's the emperor that drives the chariot. So I feel like you, you beat this narcissist. You beat them. Okay, I feel like the second they the second they chose to put you out in the cold and treat you this way, you already had them beat. Okay, you already had them whipped, collective. And now you're strong enough to walk away, release this person, and start a new life. All right, I feel like you do have some PTSD from them still. The thought of this person talking to you again um, gives you the chills, maybe even, okay? It brings about some anxiety. So, but spirit is like, you don't have to talk to them, you know? You don't have to. Just walk away from this person. Don't, don't actually take that back. Don't walk. Run from this person. Because this is a narcissistic energy vampire, like... Yeah, it's a closing of a cycle, okay, with a 10. It says unfinished symphony, so you may feel like there's something that's left unfinished. Spirit's like, it's all right, it's all right, toss this one aside. You're already having a victory, and I feel like, um, I feel like when you are ready, Spirit's also going to bring you new love, okay? Yeah, so they say, toss it. Toss it to the wayside. That's what this is. Release this connection. Come to the edge and start your new phase in your life. Okay, you're free. You're free. All right? Oh, my gosh, collective. But listen, I mean, to, um, to come out of what you were put through and have this kind of new beginning, right? Uh, a victory, all of this abundance, independence, right? Um, rejuvenation, transformation. I mean, to do all of this, you, you literally are probably the strongest person I've ever done a reading for, for whoever this is for, okay? Oh, my gosh. 